Hello friends, welcome to Portion Cozy Studio. In today's pandemic situation, we require face mask in daily basis. So let's see how to make a mask like this. First, let's make a pattern for this. I have taken a folded piece of paper. The folded side is facing me. In the folded side, measure 5.25 inches and make a mark. The other side 4.25 inches, measure it and make a mark. Now draw lines forming a rectangle. Connect the folded side and the adjacent side with a 3 inch marking as shown. Now note the measurements on the pattern 4.25 inches, 5.25 inches, 3 inch marking. Now join from this end to the other end with a curve. You can draw a free hand curve. I am using a stencil. Now let's cut the pattern. Now the pattern is ready. But just provide extra information on what the pattern is for as it may be useful for future usage and it's a good practice. The size for this mask is adult and right fold on the folded edge. So you may know the pattern should be folded to cut on the cloth. Also for finishing the raw edges we require bias strip. Therefore note the measurements of the bias strip. For this 20 inch length and 2 inch width one piece is required and the other 12 inch length and 2 inch width we require one piece and this main pattern piece we require two pieces now let's see how to place it in the cloth and cut it out Now take a piece of cloth, fold it twice like this, keep the folded side of the pattern on the folded side of the cloth, draw and cut it out. I have already cut the pieces, as I said we require two pieces, hence I have cut two pieces here. Now to cut out the bias strip, take a piece of cloth, fold it diagonally and measure 20 inches along the diagonal with 2 inch width. Draw lines and cut the bias strip. As you can see, I have already cut the bias strip, one with 20 inch length and the other 12 inch length. Both 2 inches width. All the pieces are ready. Now let's start sewing. Take one of the pieces and fold in half keeping the right side in and sew from one end to the other end as shown. Do it for both the pieces.
I have stitched both the pieces. Now place the seam line one above the other as shown and stitch on the seam. This helps to keep the two pieces intact. Now open up to the right sides. Now to finish the raw edges we need the bias strip. Use the 12 inch bias strip. Keep it along the curve and stitch it around. With a half inch allowance start sewing Now fold the bias strip for half inch twice and sew around the curve. Trim the excess fabric. Now to finish the other side we will use the 20 inch bias strip. Before that we will mark a 3 inch marking on the curved sides. The bias strip will be folded twice as shown earlier and we will finish sewing. First we will notch the center of the bias strip.
and also notch the center of the main piece match both the notches with right sides facing together start sewing from the notch to one end and repeat it again for the other side Now fold as shown and start sewing from one end to the other end. Now we will connect the open end to the 3 inch marking to form a loop. We will stitch this for both the sides. Now mask is ready, 
hope this video was useful to you thank you for watching bye